Good morning students. Welcome to the class. Hope you all are doing good. I am here to teach basic science of 6th standard. Now without any delay we start the class. Chapter 1 Caskets of Life There are so many kinds of plants and animals around us. Big, small, different shapes, different colors and so on. So let us do one activity. Now I am writing the name of the organisms here and we can arrange them from biggest to the smallest. Camel and Horse, elephant, goat. This we are to arrange according to biggest to the smallest. Here, first one, elephant. Then second, camel. Then third, horse. Then goat. Then ant. Here, elephant is the biggest one and ant is the smallest one. Are there any organisms smaller than ant? Yes, there are some organisms smaller than ant. They are called microorganisms. These microorganisms cannot be seen by the naked eye, but it can be observed only through the microscope. The microorganisms are present in air, water and soil. Then, what is a microscope? It is an instrument used to see objects which we cannot see with our naked eye. We already said, Organisms are seen around us. Can you say what organisms are made up of? Organisms are made up of cells. So what are cells? Cells are the basic structural unit of a living body. So what are cells? Cells are the basic structural unit of a living body. We can see some organisms around us that it can be classified on the basis of number of cells. So, organisms can be classified into two unicellular and multicellular. So, organisms can be classified into two unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. First we talk about unicellular organisms. Organisms having only one cell in their body are called unicellular organisms. Example, amoeba, paramecium, euglena, etc. So, what are unicellular organisms? Organisms having only one cell in their body are called unicellular organisms. Example, amoeba, paramecium, euglena, etc. All unicellular organisms are microorganisms. They are having only one cell in their body. They perform all the bodily activities with this cell like movement, respiration, feeding, etc. Then next we talk about multicellular organisms. Organisms having more than one cell in their body are called multicellular organisms. Example, plants, animals, human beings etc. 
So, what are multicellular organisms? Organisms having more than one cell in their body are called multicellular organisms. Example, plants, animals, human beings, etc. So, now let us do another activity. Now, I am writing the name of the organisms and we can classify into unicellular and multicellular organisms. Honeybee ant amoeba euglena paddy bacteria paramecium hen so you have to classify into two groups unicellular and multicellular here which are the unicellular organisms amoeba paramecium euglena bacteria here honeybee ant paddy hen so we have classified this into unicellular and multicellular organisms so the body of the ant is bigger than that of unicellular organisms. Why? In unicellular organisms, only one cell is present. So, we cannot see with our naked eye. But in the case of ant, there are thousands of cells are present. So, we can see with our naked eye. So, let us conclude our points. Cells are the Basic structural unit of a living body. Organisms having one cell in their body are called unicellular organisms. Example, amoeba, paramecium, euglena, etc. Organisms having more than one cell in their body are called multicellular organisms. Example, plants animals, human beings, etc. Can we see the microorganisms with naked eye? No, we cannot see with our naked eye. It can be observed only through the microscope. Hope I think all of you understood this topic. Thanks for watching. Okay, thank you.